just like a huge roller coaster, but very intense uh, and, and actually a lot of fun. It might seem like a giant ride, but this isn't an amusement park. Ian Bailey paid almost $3,000 to sit inside of a metal gondola attached to a 25-foot-long arm and be spun around at 6 Gs. Please confirm day one flight two profile is loaded. It's all meant to simulate the extreme G-forces of traveling into space. This is a very unique centrifuge at the NASA Center. It replicates any aircraft or any spacecraft, including the G-forces, the visuals, the feeling, you name it. Withstanding big G-forces is a key ability for anyone going to space, and many folks with tickets to fly on Virgin Galactic make a stop here at the NASTAR Center, just outside of Philadelphia. I don't feel like it was spinning around at all. It was like today there was a little bit up and down motion, but I never felt myself sitting in the machine that's being spinning around, although I knew that was what was happening. If, if that's what simulation is, wow. Wow, wow, this is... Craig Willen has been dreaming of space travel for more than 50 years. Oh, I have the bug. Yeah, I have the bug. It bit me March 16th, 1962. Irma Fiddler's second grade class, Canyon Lake Elementary School, Rapid City, South Dakota. Watched John Glenn go into space. But as he got older, Craig saw his astronaut dreams fading away. You, you grow old, you put on some weight, your hair turns gray, your eyes turns bad. You realize that you're not going to make it with NASA. But these days, you don't need NASA to get into space. When tickets on Virgin Galactic went on sale in 2004, Craig was the eighth person to buy one. So, you know, this, the opportunity comes up with the Virgin Galactic people, and they realize that I could still do this. Some people put their money into houses and mortgages. Um, some people go and buy treks to, you know, Everest or far-flung countries. Um, some people will do international travel. I, I've chosen to go to space. But becoming an astronaut is no resort vacation. Inside the capsule, the experience is intense and the science is important. So this is our introduction here um, to the G-forces. I wasn't quite aware of the different G-forces that were also how to counteract some of those. The biggest takeaway from the training? The increased force of gravity makes it hard for your body to pump blood up to your brain. Blacking out completely is common. Everything was fine, it was easy, and then all of a sudden it started to get dark, but from the moment it got dark from the edge, it took such a short time that I feel like, oh, that almost the last minute I realized I need to do something. <laughs> For those who'd rather not be unconscious during their five minutes in zero gravity, a few practical tips come in handy. When you start pushing down on your feet, you basically tense up your muscles and stop the blood flowing down into your legs, which leaves more blood going into your head and, and upper torso. You make that quick sound. <laughs> <laughs> Those movements will help you to bring your vision back. That was Thank fun! That was fun, huh? Hey! <laughs> Until Virgin Galactic has a firm launch date, the centrifuge is the next best thing to experiencing re-entry. Right, how'd you do? Wow. And in some cases, it's the next best thing to living a lifelong dream. Congratulations, you're in space. Guys, this is kind of emotional. This is important. Apogee at 360,000 feet.